What's up and welcome. Today we're doing a part two video where we're going to create an integration with make.com, Webflow CMS and OpenAI to generate automatic alt text for our CMS images. We're going to expand on this first integration that we did that uses TinyPND to compress the images. So if you didn't see that one, make sure to check it out. For this video, we're going to add a new module in our make in scenario. And we want to connect it to OpenAI and we want to use analyze images. The first time you're using this, you need to create a connection to OpenAI. So we can click the button here. You can give your connection a name and you need to put an API key. You can click the link here to go to your OpenAI account. If you don't have one, just create one. If you don't have any API keys yet, you can create one here. But before you do that, you need to make sure that you have some money on your OpenAI account balance. If you go into settings and click billing, you can top up your account. I just put $5 and that should keep you going for quite a while. Okay, but let's create a new API key. We can click the button here and give it a name and click create secret key. If you want to use it for something else, make sure to store it somewhere secure. And of course, don't share your API key with people like I just did. We can paste the API key in here in make and hit save. And now you have authenticated make to use your OpenAI account. Then you need a prompt. I wrote this as a prompt. It says create an alt text describing what's on this image. The response should only include the description. Then we need to add our image and we need to give OpenAI the image URL. We can grab that from the field data that we get from the Webflow module. You can click on original image and take the URL. We choose the model we want to use. For this one, I'm going to use GPT-4 Turbo and max tokens is fine to leave it at 300. Now we have the prompt and the analyze images module set up. Then we need to make sure we save that data back into Webflow. And we can add it here in the alternate text field for the original image. Click the field and we grab the result from the OpenAI module. I also have a field for the compressed image. We can put the same result. And I made a separate text field just so I can see the response a bit easier and use it. Okay, so that's actually our connection. So let's do a test run. Back in Webflow, this is a collection that's connected to our make scenario. So let's create a new item. We can see that make has received the new item and OpenAI is working. And now TinyPNG is compressing the image. And actually we get an error here on the last step. So let's check that out. So if we click the error icon, we can see that the expected alt value was 256 characters or less. And the alt text that was generated was longer than that. So let's actually modify the prompt a bit. Okay, so I just added keep the response below 256 characters. And let's do another test run. And we can see the scenario is active in make. And now we went all the way through. So let's go back into Webflow. Okay, so we can see the compressed image from TinyPNG. And we have some alt text here. A young child in a window output is holding a leash, struggling slightly with a park on the sidewalk next to a brick wall. Yeah, I think that looks pretty accurate. So now we have the automatic alt text generated. Let's just jump back into make and check out the scenario here. So if we open up the uh, OpenAI module, we can take a look down here at the usage. This gives us an, a measure of how many tokens was used on this prompt. And that correlates to how advanced it is and also how much money that it actually costs to, to run this uh, automation. He, right here is 1,166 tokens, which is about one cent. So not really expensive, but we can actually optimize this even further. When we make the, the prompt here, we send the original image URL to OpenAI. So it gets the full resolution image. The higher the resolution of the image is, the more tokens it will use. So it would be nice if we could send a smaller version of the image and we can actually do that. So let's just check the Webflow module out. This includes the data that we get from the Webflow when a new CMS item is created. You can see in here that it has the original image and it has the URL for the full resolution. But if we open file and click variants, 
we'll see these different numbers. If we open one of these, you can see these are the scaled down versions of the image that Webflow also creates. So this one is the 800 pixel version and this first one is the 500 pixel version. So that means that we can actually use some of these smaller images to make sure that our prompt is cheaper because it will still be able to see what's on the image. So the way we would use one of those images instead is we would delete this and we would go in the original image, file, variant, we want the S3 URL. And here we can choose which one of these URLs. So if I put one, it will use the smallest one of them. So we can hit enter and we can run it once again with the same image. Okay, so it's running the prompt again. So if we open the OpenAI module up here and check usage, so now the prompt cost 300 tokens instead because we used the smaller resolution image. And if we go back in Webflow, we can see here that the alt text that we get is very similar. A young child in a winter hat and code plays tug of war with a puck on a sidewalk, both pulling opposite ends of a leash. I'd say that's also pretty accurate. So there you have it. That's how you can set up this automation that will automatically create alt text for your Webflow CMS images. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.